Hi guys, it's such an honor to meet you. How are you? Good, thank you. Honor to meet you as well. How are you doing? Good. Um, is it too late to congratulate you on the latest album, Blue Weekend? It's never too late to no. congratulate us. Congratulate us all you want. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> when I first heard your songs, it, I was very excited, but I really like, I mean like very excited. I did, it did something to my brain, my body. And I, I wonder how did you create that sound? Um, hours yes. and hours and months and months and years and years of doing it and trying things and getting it wrong and mm. sometimes getting it right, hopefully. I mean, we've been writing together for quite a few years now and you kind of start to put the feelers out for what you think is going to work for things and what's not going to work, but you never know. No, when you you've created this unique sound and it's, it's really, when, when you hear a song of Wolf Alice, you immediately know this riff, these drums, it's Wolf Alice. I think like the four of us have a like have quite a strong connection of when we when we're excited by something or whether we feel like we're emotionally feeling connected to the same thing. You know, not that we always agree on everything, but like it's always creative, whatever we do and it's just about having a process and being in a studio and and like working on things really. And Blue Weekend was that. It, it took a you know, it took a while but we didn't stop until we were happy with it and I think the sound just comes You know, but you wouldn't want to get too technical in it. It's just, it's just the feeling of things, and it's a moment in time of like the way you feel at the time. You know, I really have wow. devoted fans. When I read like the, the the reviews, when I see like their reactions on YouTube, on Instagram, it's like, it's really devotion, and it's it's very yeah, yeah beautiful to see. But I think yeah. like we are. I think well, I guess we always are at some point. But there's a lot of fandom in today's like culture of like listening to things and loving things and you can follow everything they do and you can you know you can see a video of when they wake up and stuff like that and I, I don't know if we necessarily tread in that line I think people find that quite romantic sometimes there's you know it's quite an organic kind of journey that we've had and it's and I think that actually that's different to what a lot of people kind of get given I think that's what people engage with and not with a lot of fans right yeah. do you know what I mean as we've gone along because we've kind of been slogging it out for quite a while now And there's loads of moments where I remember one sticks out in Boston in America where there's a big group of girls on the East Coast that when they were kids would come to all the shows and hang out and they had this like big reunion at this Boston show and they're all like like in their mid-twenties and stuff now and you know seeing all of these faces of people we've known for years and years and years so maybe that's part of you know we've kind of feel like we've done it all together really yeah definitely It's nice, very wholesome. Do you think it's a good thing that we can follow everything uh, from artists like on social media? I don't think so, no. <laughs> I think maybe we're just, some, me and Jeff are just in the cusp of the generation that don't particularly care for that shit. <laughs> But also that's like just a personal thing. I just, I don't know, I just think there's, I just don't, you know. But you know, it helps. <clears throat> I don't know, it doesn't help me. No. You know, like I, li I like the fact that I, You know, I don't know what Nick Cave had for breakfast. Oh, I can see what he's going to have for lunch. <laughs> Actually, this is a question for Ellie. Do you guys have female role models? Oh, I think, yeah, there are plenty. I mean, in music, one that sticks out immediately because they're back on, on the road, I think, at the moment, is um, the Yeah, 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 is Karen O. Yes. And she's killing it, apparently, as she ever was. And she's a total inspirational person, I think, and yeah. someone that's so amazing at just putting on the kind of cloak of I'm a rock star now walking onto stage just like ellie yeah well yeah look ellie's a fucking inspiration to me most definitely and yeah there's yeah. loads and i love courtney love and stuff like that yeah but i wonder um maybe you don't agree on this but um do you think it's harder for female musicians and bands to get the same festival billing than the male colleagues i think it's proven every year pretty much that there's always people left off and we don't know why and it's not been representative at all in the last couple of years and i don't know if it is It's hard, hard to even say if it is now. I probably haven't seen enough lineups this year, but but, but I but yeah, I'm, I'm all for that. I agree. It needs to be more needs to be done, and so much good fucking music out there with women involved. That's why it's confusing to me. There's two modes of change, aren't there? You have the top-down change, which is about trying to represent people at festivals, which hasn't been brilliant. I think the last however so many years and there's a couple of festivals I won't know name names but have consistently even in that kind of storm and with the climate at the moment have still chosen not to which is odd but then you've got the kind of bottom up stuff haven't you and you've got to kind of say well why aren't we encouraging young girls to go out and play music and that's you know and then you're talking about education you know public policy all that kind of stuff 
and you can't address one without the other. You need role models like like Ellie as well. Yeah, definitely. You need to take a chance and band. You know, if someone's like, well, the, the, the name female headliners, name the band. I'm like, well, you can't get to that until some festival goes, yeah. you're going to have a go at this this year, and then that's how you do it, you know? Yeah. I think the best band on the planet at the moment, hands down, is Haim. Mm. I'm a big fan. Yeah, I am. I, just can't, I can't believe it. I just can't keep listening to that album. So good. Yeah, and they're again like it's like really engaging. Like they're really funny. Like, but their music isn't, you know, isn't necessarily funny. It's very music. Like any musician would listen to that and try and pick apart just how clever they are with their arrangements and their songwriting. And they just cover all bases. And their shows, they've got like synchronized dance moves and shit. Yeah. It's, it's a fucking party. We're but we look, we are buzzing. We keep saying this today, but we first came here. It was like the first thing we really did outside of. It was one of the first things, wasn't it? And we like parked up over there. I think it was like 2014. It might even be 2013. It was fucking ages ago. And we like got our tents out and we were looking somewhere to camp. And the people here were like, it's not really a done thing to camp. People have their tour buses and we obviously didn't. We like slept over there and we ran around and they were just incredibly kind to us here. And it was a bit of a moment. And you know, there are lions uh, in the neighborhood here. I did. I went to go see them that night about one o'clock in the morning. Couldn't, very confused why I couldn't get in. <laughs> You're going to check out yourself some bands on the bill? I want to go watch Black Midi, a bit of Black Midi, because I really like their new stuff. I think it's just they're fine. Like they're putting out loads of stuff and it's really like sculpting into something really special, I think. Um, I, I saw. Um, I don't actually know the name of them, but I think they were like first on on the like alt mm. tent over there. They were like a doom. Amenra. Yeah, it was really fun. They're yeah. from Belgium, where I come from. Yeah, it was really fun. How do you pronounce it? Amenra. Amenra. I love you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I could hear it as well, and it was very good. We like a bit of doom in Wolf Alice. Yeah. yeah. At 12 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, definitely. When else you get listen to it? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, I wish you the best show today. Thank you for the chat. Thank you, guys. Music matters.